Winning both the World Cup and treble is something most football players can only ever dream of. And to do so while captaining both teams and never receiving a red card is even more impressive. Especially considering the fact he never shied away from making dangerous sliding tackles. Pep Guardiola even said he's the most intelligent player he has ever trained. Today we'll talk about the cleanest defender of all time and a true footballing icon, Philippe Lahm. Lahm started his career in his local club FT Gern. However, it wouldn't take long for Bayern Munich to come knocking on his door. He joined the club in 1995 at 11 years old after being scouted by one of Bayern's youth coaches. Even at the young age he was considered to be one of the best talents in Germany. One of his coaches even said, if Philipp Lahm doesn't make it in the Bundesliga, nobody will. However, after getting promoted to the first team in 2002, he had to remain patient due to Byron having already established players in Willy Sagnol and Izarazu. He only got a single 90 second minute appearance during that entire season. Following this he was loaned out to Stuttgart for two whole seasons in order to get playing time in the Bundesliga. He quickly established himself at his temporary new home, even winning a Champions League match against Manchester United. Yes, this is the same United that had players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Rio Ferdinand and Roy Keane. Surprisingly, he would not be played as a right back but rather as a left back, which gave him a chance to show his versatility. Because of these performances, Lam would even get a second place finish in the Germany Footballer of the Year award. Unfortunately, his second season at Stuttgart wouldn't be as successful. Lam would have difficulties adapting to the new tactics and system of his coach. On top of that, he suffered from an injury which kept him sidelined for four months. Just five weeks after coming back, he suffered another injury that would end both his season and his time alone at Stuttgart. After an unfortunate end to his loan move, Lam would make his professional Bundesliga debut in November of 2005. That same season, he played 23 games for Bayern, sharing game time with Lisa Razou. The following season, he would finally become a nailed on starter playing in all of Bayern's Bundesliga games and scoring his first goal against VfL Bochum. These performances would lead to a lot of interest from other clubs, like FC Barcelona and Manchester United. But Lahm would ultimately choose to stay at Bayern after the club president promised him to build a competitive team that could challenge in Europe. And challenge they did. Bayern reached the Champions League final in 2010, but lost 2-0 against Inter Milan. Two years later, Lam would captain Bayern to another Champions League final. The 2012 Champions League campaign would see Bayern beat Real Madrid in the semi-finals with one of the most iconic penalty shootouts in history. After his hard-fought win, they reached the final against Chelsea. Those of you who saw the final will know how unfortunate Bayern were in this game. They would have a staggering 23 attempts while only scoring a single goal in the 83rd minute. Barely five minutes later, Drogba would score one of his most iconic goals from a corner, taking the game all the way to a penalty shootout. Chelsea ended this game with a total of six attempts. The penalty shootout started off great for Bayern, as Mata missed the first penalty for Chelsea and Lam scored the first one for Bayern. Amazingly, during the shootout, a lot of Bayern players did not want to take the shot. This is why the one and only Manuel Neuer decided to take one himself. In one of the most ballsy moves I've ever seen, he buried the ball in the left-hand corner. However, this is where Byron's fairy tale ends. The penalty score up to this point was 3-2 in favor of Byron. But both Olic and Schweinsteiger would miss their penalties, while Ashley Cole and Drogba scored for Chelsea, bringing the final score to 3-4. Looking at the stats, Byron were the much better team. But football isn't always about the statistics. The Byron team was completely crushed by this loss. But even in their darkest moment, one man would remain standing. Team captain Philippe Lahm. After two Champions League final losses in three years, the pressure was very high for Bayern. They would get their chance at redemption the season following their defeat against Chelsea. During the 2013 Champions League, Bayern would reach the final of the UEFA Champions League after a historic 7-0 victory over Barcelona. Surely Barcelona would never let this happen again, right? The final would see Bayern play against their Bundesliga rivals Borussia Dortmund. They were extra motivated for this game, not only because they lost two finals in the previous three years, but also because Dortmund won both the 2011 and 2012 Bundesliga titles. On top of that, Bayern were on track to become the first ever German team to win the treble. Lam started this game as the captain and led his team to a 1-2 victory after Robin scored in the 89th minute redeeming himself after missing a crucial penalty against Chelsea. The success didn't stop there, however. During the 2014 World Cup, Lam displayed even more versatility. 
as he played the first couple of games of the tournament as a central midfielder. From the quarterfinals onward, he would be reverted back to a right back, starting with the game against France, which they would win 1 0. However, the real shock of the tournament would come in the semi finals, when Germany beat Brazil with a staggering 7 goals to 1, all in Brazil's own home. Lam ended up assisting 2 of the 7 goals. With this victory, Germany had the confidence and momentum to go up against Messi's Argentina. This was an extremely tense game, with Higuain even scoring an offside goal. Legend has it, he's still out there somewhere celebrating that goal. The deadlock would finally be broken in the 113th minute after Mario Götze scored one of the most iconic World Cup goals I've ever seen. This put an end to Messi's World Cup dream, at least for now. Meanwhile, Captain Philipp Lahm would get the honors of lifting the trophy. Because of his performances with Bayern and Germany, Lahm would even get a 6th place finish in the Ballon d'Or, finishing higher than Neymar and James Rodriguez. After his success with the World Cup, Lam decided to retire from the national team, just one week after winning the biggest trophy in football. Lam announced his retirement at the end of the 2016-2017 season, marking an end to a truly insane career without ever receiving a red card, cementing his legacy as both the Bayern and Germany legend. Although Lam was right-footed and preferred playing as a right-back, he was successfully used as both a left-back and midfielder. Because of his footballing IQ, crossing, pace, precise tackling and versatility, he was a real nightmare to deal with, both for attackers and defenders. Despite his small size, he was never afraid to make dangerous sliding tackles. On top of this all, he was a true leader on the pitch, earning him the nickname of Magic Dwarf. Lam is regarded by many to be one of the best ridebacks of all time, and with good reason. He ended his career by winning a staggering 8 Bundesliga titles, 6 DFB Pokals, 3 German Super Cups, 1 UEFA Super Cup, a Champions League and a crowning jewel, the World Cup. Lam is without a doubt one of the best ridebacks the world has ever seen, backed up by all the trophies he won, many of which he captained his team to. Both on and off the pitch he's an incredible player, he's a true inspiration for every footballer. No fancy haircuts, no drama, just pure passion and loyalty for his club. And always remember, the most essential quality in the game is passion.